This week we got Eyebrow Brawl, what? Funky Sister, and Hey There Delilah. Hey There Delilah, do you I like that song. I have no idea what that song is. We're tribute band up in there. <laughs> Yeah. So for our first story, there was this crazy fight in Brooklyn at a nail salon. Brooklyn. After there was this customer who complained about her eyebrows being all messed up. And so she didn't want to pay that $5. And there were reports saying that- $5 to do eyebrows? Yeah, That's but she also cheap. did That's her really nails. That's really good. Yo, I saw this video, yo. Yeah, and then so it's being reported that- What happened? Bad, oh, you really? keep cutting her off. <laughs> that she- started hitting the nail technician because then she wouldn't hit, like she wouldn't pay it. And then the nail technicians, they, nail all, technician. they all started. <laughs> what would you Jump in her? I don't know, but it, it's just funny sounding. It, it sounds important. Yeah, it sounds really dope. AKA the Kung Vietnamese Kung girl gang? Hell yeah, I want to see some Vietnamese Kung Fu. Is this Vietnamese girl gang? Yeah, dude. They go in on her. I feel so bad for these people. Paul! Oh, oh, that's not in America. This is in America. Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn. yeah, Brooklyn. <laughs> this is so good. Look at this lady, dude. She's like beating the shit out of her. Who? The Asian lady beating the crap out of her. She hit her grandma with the broom. Oh, that's fucked up. Are they hitting her with a laptop? Whoa! I think they're Chinese, right? They're not Vietnamese. Vietnamese are Chinese. Oh. Damn, they're fucking gangster, dude. They started holding down the customer, saying that they're calling the police. They started attacking the ladies? It was being reported that the customer hit the nail technician. This looks like a Kung Fu movie. I know. I don't know who's who or what. Or yeah. I can't tell what's going on. Well, it's probably the black people against the Chinese people. It's just, I mean, it's a whole family. I mean, the main thing is that you see is that the broom fighting. Yeah, so you no. saw this and Well, I saw it, it and, well, I, I don't know about any of the new stuff that came out. I just saw it and I just took it for what it is. So I don't know what the whole story is, but, you know, this is like specifically why there's such a split between like Asian and black communities, right? So there's a lot of- I feel of, like, like during that video, this should've- <laughs> And then they're fucking hitting them there's, with booms and shit. There's like this thing about like Asian communities, because there's a lot of Asian businesses that open up in black communities, right? Why they do that? I.e. nail salons, <laughs> beauty supplies, whatever, right? And so, there, I, I, I've never seen this happen though before. So this one's pretty fucking extreme, right? Yeah, because usually Asians are scared. Yeah, like, yeah. usually you don't see that shit, yeah. you know what I mean? Like I've seen my mom get beat up the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like people, I've, a girl literally punched my mom in the chest and the whole chest bruised up. Like, oh, like, Jesus. Like, we've been like, why? Before because she she tried to steal some shit and my mom told her to just leave it. I was there and my mom's like, leave it and then you could just leave. And she goes, I didn't steal anything. And I'm like, it's in your purse, <laughs> you know? Right. Just leave it and go. And then she literally swung on my mom and then like bruised my mom's chest. And then, you know, we had to call the cops, she got arrested, Damn. you know? But like to see the other way around is kind of like uncommon for me. But this, this it sucks because like, you know, there's this whole thing of like, I feel like the black community might, I, I haven't seen any video after this, but there's like, the black community supports these Asian businesses. You know what I mean? And so now I feel like a lot of the black community saying like we should support our own businesses at this point because like we shouldn't be taking this type of treatment. Which is fucking true because when I see that, I'm like, yo, that's fucking wild, dude. There's no way you should be swinging a fucking broom on somebody. No matter what the product and is. They were throwing acetone too. That's fucking wild. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like that's so crazy. They're trying to melt those ladies? That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, what is that? That's, that's what nail nail polish right? Yeah. Damn. That shit smells good. It does. Acetone? Really? Yeah, I, I hate smell. the way nail salons smell. That shit. I'm not saying the nail up. salon. I don't know how that smells, but oh, I know that the, when I got into my sister's like acetone to smell it, I I think that's why I, oh. my brain uh, doesn't quite work <laughs> that well. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. That and that when the girls do the nail polish thing. remover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. With that that's sponge in there, I fucking love that shit, man. Yeah. So they were saying that. Apparently the the eyebrow thing, like half of her eyebrow was waxed off and that's why she got mad, but oh, I don't know. Oh, okay, that's a little different. And then yeah. that she didn't want to pay for the $5 for the eyebrows, but then the nail technicians are saying that she didn't want to pay for any of the services she got that day, which were her nails as well. How come your family opened up in a black neighborhood? Well, because a lot of these beauty supplies are actually Korean companies. 
And so my parents didn't speak any English. Mm. So the only way they can, they opened up businesses where they could communicate with the salesman and that's beauty supplies. You know, so that's that's generally how like these things work out. So, so. you mean the the all the factories that make black beauty supply is a lot of them are Korean. Oh, a lot wow! Of sales, a lot of these salesmen are Korean as well. So you think that people should only shop at the stores of oh, that are owned by the? Their no, race? it's like for I think for that it's like if if there's this thing about like that's what I heard a lot. It's like I'm not shopping here. I'm only going to go to like the black people who you know who support the business. And if that's how they feel, then that's understandable. Just because like if that's the type of treatment that they're getting from this community, because like the way that you can like really shut down a business is through their dollars. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think like that's the stuff that I heard a lot. You know, growing up. You know, just because they felt like number one, like especially with my parents, or if they had a bad experience from some other store, it would transfer over to our store. It's like you oh. people are always trying to think that we're going to steal, blah, 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 blah. And it's not you people. It's the black beauty supply store. Everybody's black. So you're just customers. You know, right. you know what I mean? Right. Literally, there's only like a, a fluttering of like three or four white people that would come in a week. Yeah. And then they walk in and they go, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so like it was such a hard thing because like I couldn't, I didn't know how to explain it. It's like it's not, it's not a, it's not a black thing. Like literally I grew up in a, in a black community around all black people. It's just everybody is black. So there's customers that do steal. When you have a black beauty supply store, is it called like black beauty supplies? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. It's not because there's beauty supply stores and there's black beauty supply stores, which all uh, African American gear products. Right. 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 So we sell a lot of stuff that's, you know, weaves, wigs, uh, chemical products, anything that has to do with like African American skin products or, or uh, hair care. Oh, okay. So that's what we call Black Beauty Supply Yeah, so after all this, they started protesting outside of the nail shop. And as of right now, it's still closed. They don't know when it's going to be open. Happy Red Apple. Yeah, and no matter what yeah. the situation Happy is. Happy Red Apple? <laughs> that's what it's called. Damn. What is that? So it's like a whole bunch of people writing Take things. your broomsticks and fly away, you witches. Oh, that's yeah. fun. That's a good one. <laughs> and you know what? We got new stereotypes now. Is, like, it's so dumb for them to do that because you are in a community that supports your business. And, the, and you know, for five bucks, let's say they were a piece of shit. Let's just say, I'm not saying that they are. Who the fuck cares? Just let them go. Nothing's gonna right. happen. Nothing's gonna fucking happen. It's the dumbest thing. People will come into our business. They would literally try to jack our shit. My mom said the same thing every time. Just tell them to drop it and ask them to come back another time. So I've been watching um, what I would say is a veritable shit ton of videos. Uh, um, it, this show called uh, Hardcore Pawn. It's totally fake, but uh, every episode, every single episode is somebody who's trying to f f pull one over on the pawn shop owners. <laughs> and I just, it's just the funniest shit in the world. I don't know how they get these these people because they half of them act pretty good and then half of them don't, but it's always the same thing. It's like somebody walks up with fake earrings or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> And then the person's like, these are fake. And then the person's like, are you calling me a liar? And then they start fucking swinging on them. And then the huge, like, fucking seven foot eight black guy, like, takes the people out of the store every fucking time. It's, it's like great. Jerry Springer meets Pawn Stars? Yes, it's oh great. My God. It's great. Damn. So I've been really enjoying that. And and for some reason, um, well, for many reasons, it reminded me of this. You know, you know, it's, I want to one day open up a pawn shop. I would love that. <laughs> Just... Sort of, Just yeah. to, for the clientele? Yes! Yeah. So you know how people want to make money so they could leave yeah. the fucking bad neighborhoods? Yeah. I don't. I never want to leave. I just want to play. I get it. I like these neighborhoods <laughs> though, man. It, it's it's weird though, like being, being in my parents' store because like people have this like perception of like Asian people who don't like like their black clientele in these hoods, right? But that's not true because like, it's literally like 95% of our customers are great. We have, we've had returning, our returning customer rate is huge, you know? But there's just 5% that just, that kind of act like we treat all of our customers that way. It's like, no, we treat you that way because you're a piece of shit. The other 95% is fucking great. That's, <laughs> you know that's I mean? normal for every retail shop. Though. Exactly. There is a, you, in accounting, you have theft already yeah. accounted for because you know like a, a small percentage is just gonna steal. So, yeah. well, I love it when yeah. somebody tries to steal and then they get caught, and then as they're leaving, they're like, "Yo, don't go here. This place sucks. They treat you like shit." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were fucking stealing, dude. Like, what are you talking like, about? Like, legit. Like, I have like, like so many fucking stories about people trying to steal stuff. It's unreal. When we were writing Gook, like, we were going through all these stories. Like, I've literally seen somebody come into our store. It was like a hundred degrees in Sacramento, wearing a trench coat. Like, what are you going to do right now, bro? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And they try to steal. He was called David. A perm kit, like a perm kit box, by the way, is like this size. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, Dude, I like see, that. I saw I'm a like, video. On. I saw a video of a guy at a Walmart, and they were uh, the guy was filming, 
and it's like all of a sudden a skylight gets kicked out and then people, everyone looks up, everyone in the whole fucking store looks up and this guy is like crawling down <laughs> from the ceiling tile what shit. What if he was the distraction? Someone else is thinking. Oh, that, oh, that, that would that be genius. Because yeah. this guy's a, such a fucking absolute <laughs> moron. Then he falls down and just runs out the front door. It's like, what were you, what was your move, man? I want to know. Like, can we actually sit him down and Interview. like talk to him and be like, what was your move, dude? What was the plan? <laughs> All right, for our next story. Missy Elliott posted this video. She oh, Missy! Yeah, she reposted this I, video. Oh, I love this video. So this is a screenshot of her Instagram post. Do you want to read her caption? Yeah, message. Wait, I just found out I have a funky white sister. Cry faces, many, many cry faces. But hold up, she brought her homegirl to the cookout too. She's the one tiptoeing in the background with a cup of oodles and noodles in her hand. Yo, sis, done, made the elephant sound too. I wasn't ready for her to say, put the cat on ya. What the fuck? <laughs> like it's I slang, told ya. Steve. I mean, but don't have me read it then. <laughs> That's why I wanted you to read it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she straight up killed work it with the yeah, yeah, yeah at the beginning and sound effects and all like, ha, ha, ha. My funky white sis featuring Miss Tippy Toe in the back. I have a headache now, thanks, Toe. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. What is it? And then the kitty part is she was saying pussy in the song. All right, um, here we go. Oh, it's a video. Fuck it's yeah. A video. It's Watch right. this shit, dude. I love this shit. <laughs> Oh shit, she has a fucking Alcorn? Yeah, yeah, yeah! This is my second time exclusive here at Goddard Park. I love her in the karaoke. Missy's fucking This is the park! Why is this in the park? Let me work it. I put my thing now, flip it and reverse. Ah, shit! Yep. He's your friend of this one. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me search ya. <laughs> no. oh. I love somebody walking by holding a drink. <laughs> no, it's the, the noodles lady. Oh, oh, is it? Funny. Put the pussy on like I told you. Put the number so I can phone ya. Your girl acts stinks, then call me over. Love the way my ass go. Oh, shit! Yeah, I love it. This, this is fucking amazing! The first rule of karaoke yeah, is you always have to build it up before you suck. It's so important. Like, hey, coming at you live from the park, you know how I do. About to get it, about to get it on. Always, always. You kill it in karaoke uh, Hey, well, too. you have Every to build time. it up. You have to build it up. That's so fucking amazing. And monologuing during karaoke is so crucial. And the commitment. It's like, that's entertainment right there. She believes in herself. Yeah. High school physics teacher looks exactly like that. Oh, a hundred pounds heavier. My liter yeah. my literature teacher looks just like that. What's the context? Everybody like, at Disneyland <laughs> looks exactly like that. <laughs> Everyone at Walmart. Fucking everybody. I yeah, have, right. I have so many questions. Like, why is she fucking clenching on that elk horn? And like, what the... What's going on here? What is this? Like, it's her brand, part of her so brand. It's a festival of horns. So her name is Mary. She's from Rhode Island, and she was just performing this track at some park, and then someone recognized that from Miss Elliott's tweet, and they tweeted back and said, "Oh my God, it's Miss Mary. This park slash beach is in my hometown. She used to be at my friend's restaurant every Friday night for karaoke and perform this." She'd get the whole room crazy every time. She's a sweetheart. Go Mary. That's so, fucking. I guess she. That's Mary made it. All day Mary day. made it, dude. That's her thing. That's dope. That's crazy. All fucking those years of practicing, and now her moment has that's, arrived. That's it. I now Missy recognizes her. That shit is by far <laughs> one of the best like female like hip hop songs till this fucking day. Missy Elliott, I fucking love her, dude. Yeah. Can you name another Missy Elliott song? She looks That's amazing right now. That's just the one right song now. that I like the most. Have you seen her? Have that you seen was, her? That was, I thought you loved Missy Elliott. Uh, can you name any other songs? No, I cannot. <laughs> no, because for me, I don't like, I like Missy Elliott as an MC. Like for me, I didn't connect to a lot of her music because she talks about pussy and shit. But as an MC. <laughs> and she's a producer too, dude. Wait, you didn't connect to her songs about pussy? <laughs> she <laughs> produces really a lot of music. <laughs> a lot of like, she talks about her pussy empowerment. I'm like, I can't really do this. I see, I see. <laughs> but this shit, she's always been a dope MC. Her flow is like top notch. So when a lot of like other female artists come out, I feel like I always compare them to her. 
She you know? sings too. Yeah, she's mm-hmm. a great singer, a great mm-hmm. rapper, she's and a, a dope great producer. Artist. You know, it's like for me and like like Biggie, because I grew up with Tupac my whole life, but I still I don't know like I probably know like three or four Biggie songs, but I know about like ten Tupac songs. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But I still know who Biggie is and how dope he is because yeah. of his flow, and that's how like Missy is to me. And he has the stuff he knows all the time. <laughs> He's very nasally. Yeah. To me, Queen Latifah yeah. and Missy Elliott, I'm like, I'm like, oh wait. What's the difference? Which one's which, man? Really? Fucking, yeah, because the music, the music sounds to me very similar. Their flow is way different though. One's from a very. different time. And one's more what lighter than Latifah's the other song? one. I just know her more as an actress. Who? Yeah, now. Missy Elliott? Queen back, Latifah? When, back when Queen Latifah, before no. Queen Latifah was known more as an actress. She's more like, known as an actress. Actor than a music. That's why. Like, like, well, now she is. Really now she's she supposed is. to be iconic in the hip hop. She was iconic though. Yeah. She was like the first was. female in the, in the 80s. She was a shit. Yeah. Dude, what happened to Macy Gray? <laughs> she had like two songs. She was too drunk, bro. She was fucking dope. Uh, Macy Gray, I love that song. Uh, 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 Macy Gray's not a rapper though. Uh, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking, uh, 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 I'm thinking of one hit wonders because she uh, she had that song like I tried uh, uh, to. Uh, Macy, Macy, one, right? Macy Gray had a, a lot of mental issues though, didn't she? Oh, did is that she? Why she? I thought she was an alcoholic, so. or maybe or that's she, a joke. No, the that's song, just how she I tried to say goodbye and I choked. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. that's the only song of hers I can name. Maybe I'm assuming the whole thing. But, but I, I thought loved, she had, I like, loved her voice. She performed like she had uh, problems. <laughs> I thought she had. I thought she had a couple of issues. Oh man! All right, for our last story, you guys remember the "Hey There, Delilah" that song? Yep. From 2006. Damn, is that old? Speaking yeah. of one hit wonders. I like that song. 12 yeah. years ago. 12 years ago? What the fuck? Yeah, that's crazy. So I recently, thought that she was on the radio yesterday. No, dude, 12 years ago. So recently, uh, the Hollywood Reporter said that they are trying to create a TV show around this song. What? Now, what? Oh, like writing what? letters to each other? What? I know, right? Hey, there, the Lila. Yeah, so. I don't know the. No one knows after that, right? Does no. The, and no one. Know, I can't I'll name play, another song by the band either. Mm. I'll play a little clip here. Hey there, Delilah. What's it like in New York? Oh yeah, it sucks like that. I forgot. Miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. What yeah. genre of rock does this fall into? Uh, is, it surf, is it folk? Surf sand. No. It's not rock. It's like sleepy rock. Uh, sleepy I don't folk know what rock. You would call, um, Hipster folk. rock. No. I don't know what that's called. What is like, acoustic rock? Alter- no, alternative. Oh, I, don't think alternative. Rock? I have no idea. Patagonia rock? I don't know. Indie. Patagonia indie. rock. Indie. 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 Oh. You know it's indie when it's always just like three strings in the background. Yeah, three yeah. chords <laughs> with acoustic guitar. That's okay, it. That makes sense though. That's that's yeah, the front so man. Categories. And if they change them to punk to three strings, then it's punk music for some reason. And there's more energy. Always. So the front man named Tom Higginson. He will be the producer of this TV show, and yeah, they were pretty much trying to center an entire TV show around this song where, like, the song is about this dude who's saying that he's gonna write a song about Delilah when, like, cause she lives in New York City and that he, that, that song will make him famous and then he'll be rich. And also, so, there's a story embedded into the song. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, so then they're yeah, gonna yeah. form a whole show around that story. She's not gonna last a season. I miss. I, <laughs> well, no why can't has, we just no keep remaking it up yet? Why can't they just keep remaking shit? Why do they gotta do this now? We, we've taken it too far. Well, why can't they hire original writers? No, look, what is are you talking about? Is that an original writer? No. Look, they, about, oh, they're, they're adapting from a song. That's already not original. But that's his own work. Look, yeah, they're doing the Jeffersons guy. again. <laughs> I'm like, this guy's 2006. They should do Laverne and Shirley again. Just do it all. Oh my again. god, I forgot all about it. I want, a, I want Mr. <laughs> Belvedere back. <laughs> oh yeah, Mr. Belvedere. Yeah, Belvedere. Dude. Which one was that one? He's the butler. <laughs> what he's like the big burly butler. <laughs> that's dope. He's he's so nice. I feel like all the shows back in the day were like it was like kids never had parents. It's so, so fucking sad. Oh, yeah. All the shows is like I don't have parents because my parents are working all day. Let's bring back so then small I'm gonna wonders. I'm cool with my butler yeah, or like any of these. It's like father do. figure shows, mother figure shows. I feel like, like if that. I showed you a clip, you would know. You'd be like, okay. oh, I don't know. you know Mr. Belvedere. Was Le- I know. No. Lorraine and Shirley is a '70s show. That sure. one's old. Okay, that one. How did they start the video? Yeah, Incorporated. I know. I want to know that because of Wayne's World. That's the only reason why I know that. That's sad. You should watch the show. It's a great show. Female Power Show. I like Three's Company, but I never thought they were going to fuck Three Ways because I thought the girls were nasty. 
No, the blonde one was hot. Oh, right. You don't no. like... No, 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 because... They got to smell they, good. They, they remind me of grandmas, the way that they dress their style. Like, really? All she would dress day. so slutty. She always had shortcut shirt. Like I think it's the, the fashion. Like, in my head, if you're not 90s, oh, you're fucking you're old. old. It's like, like time... hanging out. Yeah. Dude, when's Hanson going to take their Umbop song and make it into a show? <laughs> I'll be dull. It's like we 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 What's we were looking at we were looking at the lyrics and we're like, there's a show in here. Uh, <laughs> it's like, it practically writes itself. The moon bops. What's the actual words he says in there? It's like it's like and then you bop. don't know. You just don't know, right? I have no idea. I just know the umbop part, and that's as far as it went. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, but okay. I also know the they got it's like popular as hell, didn't they? they? Oh yeah. <laughs> These are the lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hated them. Mbop is a lot, basically the whole thing. I said, oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. That's the lyrics. Wait, he says plant a seed, plant a flower, plant a rose. There's your show. Yo, did you see that interview of like Takashi69 talking about his song with Nikki? That shit was fucking. You mean where he's doing this one with her? No, so he got that song Fifi, right? On with with like with Nikki, right? Yeah. And he's like doing this radio interview, and they're like, this kid's like, yo, man, I'm in the studio. Yo, legit, I'm just having fun. And they're like, oh, but you got like some lyricism and shit, right? He goes, what the fuck are you talking about? He goes, I'm going, I said, Fifi got that pussy, got that kinky, got that whatever. He goes, what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> and the radio like personality is like, yeah, but that requires flow. He's like, nah. He's like, I'm not that's not dope. I love I it. Love it. You know? He doesn't take Finally. himself seriously. Yeah, I'm like, that's true. But th it's so funny too, because even the radio person is trying to give him credit. And he's like, the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> but but see, we we all think that he's gonna sit there and go when I when I was saying yeah, she got which is kind of dope. Kiki, what I was meaning to say, yeah. was societal inequalities or whatever the fuck. I fucking start, I love that. I was shit. like whatever about him, and now I like him. Yeah, yeah.